okay now see um, how to work with single table insertion and what multi table insertion first let's see what is single table insertion single table insertion if you can see this one just say that i have one table sales table i have one table sales table i have created one sales table and i have some data something like you know sales person's id uh, you know his name sales person's name so location location in which city he is you know selling those goods so let me tell you 101 is it a is it some city hyderabad 102 is it b is it some city chennai 103 is it c is it and some bangalore okay something that now i wanted to apply some query on this table whatever the output that you are getting i wanted to keep the output into some other table whatever the output that you are getting from this table i wanted to keep the output into some other table that is what single table insertion so before doing that better you can create one table and better you can upload some data into that table and then you can again create one more table let me say that i am creating another table as you know hi create table target one target table i am creating i'll take id int comma location string i'm taking location string i'm taking so location string i'm taking now see uh, row format delimited okay next i'll give fields terminated by backslash t okay backslash t so means i'm creating this table target and i'm taking two columns here two columns here one is id into type another one is what location into uh, string type now i'll apply some query on this table i'll keep that output whatever i'm get getting here into this table here now what i'll do is very simple so here we can work with this insertion hi insert overwrite insert overwrite insert overwrite table target insert overwrite table target select id sorry sid comma s name sid comma s name from from sales from sales so insert overwrite table target select sid i wanted to insert by overwriting this sid and s name from sales table into this target table here so means what is that sid and s name here sid is are this s name is are this now i wanted to put these two columns into you know this targeted table i'm just trying to overwriting them so automatically it is just displaying you it is just loading all your data if suppose if you are having any doubt just you can give select star from target okay so it will pakka display you know id as you know it is just displaying that as 101 a 102 b 103 c something that it is going giving output okay this is actually you know single table insertion now we will see how to work with multi table insertion multi table insertion okay very simple this is also just say that multi table insertion okay now i'll give one big table here emp one big table i'm giving here and big table i'm giving here id i'm giving name i'm giving salary i'm giving location i'm giving uh, as as well as you know i'll give department id department name okay phone number email id as well as country okay so these are all what columns in this emp table just so that already i am having some data in this 
already have some data in this okay now i wanted to partition this whole table into number of sub tables by keeping this id name and salary location into sorry in, uh, this did into one table okay into one table next means what these are all what one table next this location did d name will be taken into another table here next this um, phone number sorry department name phone number email id and country will be taken into you know, another table here okay so one table two tables three tables i wanted to split this entire whole table into you know three tables now for that reason better you can create three tables here one is target one already i have tell uh, i have discussed with you that how to create table target one i am giving i am taking id into here next name string here next salary float here or double you can take next location string i am taking next department id in time taking this is what one table next i'll take another table as target 2 now i'll give uh, location string here okay did int here d name string here okay so these are all what another table next target 3 i'm taking it need not to be target 1 target 2 target 3 or something that you can it can be any of your name okay table names can be anything i'm just giving you, you know as an example here next i'll take d name sorry d name yeah d name string comma phone number int email id string i'm taking comma country string i'm taking okay so i have to build three tables something like this from this okay now so how to make it to be done from this table that is what multi table insertion very simple here what is the table name here we are working with emp emp i'm taking you know emp now i'll take insert overwrite table target one okay select select id name salary phone number sorry what is that location did and insert overwrite table target to i'll take select select what is that location comma did d name d name next i'll give insert overwrite table target 3 select what is that d name phone number email comma country okay so instead of if you are taking single table insertion then you are giving insert override table target and you are giving select and you are giving that table name here but as you are taking multi table insertion from the same table now i am keeping this table as a uh, global table name and i am taking all these statements so first this table will be built from this employee second this table will be built from this employee and third this table will be built from this employee automatically so these are all what single statements only we are giving one semicolon only here so this is what multi table insertion so if you are having any doubt just give select star from target one select star from target two select star from target three so automatically these tables will give this data from this table this is what multi table insertion thank you